Good morning, guitar players. Welcome to my Facebook Live. I do this every week, every Thursday morning, right, right about nine, uh, right about now, 9:45 a.m. CDT. And I'd love to have you join us every week. We just do a little bite-sized nugget of guitar fun. And today I'm going to show you um, a really clever shortcut way to play the three most important chords in the key of D. The one, the four, and the five. If you're not used to numbers, you can start right now. It's not hard. One, four, and five, just put that in your brain and we'll go from there. So, but before we jump in the pool, I just want to tell you a couple quick things. Next Wednesday, September 23rd, I am doing a Zoom class. I do a class on Zoom once a month. And uh, for September, it's next Wednesday evening. It's called The Art of Finger Picking. So you know you need that. So you are invited to join us. You don't have to already know how to finger pick. That's why you're gonna take the class. All levels welcome. Also, you wanna make sure that you are signed up for my free monthly newsletter. All this stuff is in the description. There's other links and stuff in there as well. So the Zoom class next Wednesday the 23rd and also a link so you can sign up and make sure you get my free monthly newsletter. It tells you about my classes, uh, has interviews with really interesting people, pro tips, funs, fun facts. You know you want that too. So anyway, here we go with the key of D. So I'm going to kind of put my fingers close so you can see exactly what I'm up to over here. I've got a D chord right now. And I want you to notice that the ring finger is on the second string. Uh, that's super important. We're going to pay a lot of attention to that ring finger here because he's not going to move. Now the reason we need to pay attention to that is that it's kind of hard not to move your ring finger because you know what your ring finger wants to do? He wants to move when the other fingers move. We're not going to let him because it's much smarter to leave your ring finger right where it is for all three chords that, that love each other in the key of D. Those three chords are D, G, did you see that I didn't move my ring finger? Back to D, and then don't move your ring. That's the way we're gonna play the A. So let's take a closer look at how we're doing that. Here's the D. I'm just gonna assume that a lot of you already know a D chord. Now, pay special attention to that ring finger. If you've never thought about this before, you will really need to Watch him carefully because he's going to try and run away. So what we're going to do is going to work, we're going to pick up the other fingers and go to our G chord. And the kind of G that I'm playing is the one where the ring finger is on the second string. Are there other ways to play G? Heck yeah. And I use them all, or I use a bunch of them. Right now, we're going to use this G because it's so efficient. Also, by the way, it sounds good. So here's the D. Leave your ring down. Go to your G chord. By the way, D in numbers in the key of D is one. So here's your one chord, here's your four chord. All right, so come back to your one chord, that's D. Now I'm gonna show you a really clever way to play an A chord. Even if you already know an A chord, I want you to check this version of an A chord out. We'll call it a variation because it's actually not a plain A. It's actually A7 sus. But don't be intimidated by that fancy name. This is actually easier to go to from a D chord than a regular A. So don't ever let the name of something put you off. So we're gonna leave that ring finger right where he is. We're gonna get rid of the middle finger. The index finger, which right now in the D chord's on the third string, he's just gonna to hop to the fourth string. You're right next door. Please don't go far. Don't move any more than you have to. Words to live by. And Critically, you have to remember that your bass note is on the fifth string. So it looks like this. Here's D. Here's the A, or A7 sus. But I'm not going to give that whole name every time. I'm just going to call it an A chord because that's what it is. It's functioning as our A chord. So in numbers, here's our one. Now I'm going to go to four, that's G, I'm going to come back to one, now I'm going to five, just like that, I am not moving my ring finger, I know I told you that before, I really meant it, 
It's super important. I'm kind of building my whole little D world here around leaving that ring finger down, okay? So it makes me so much more efficient, smoother, faster, just generally cooler. <laughs> also, by the way, let's not overlook the fact that when we leave that ring finger down, we get to keep the note that that ring finger is making. Oh, what note do you think that is? It's a D note, so it sounds really good. In my one and my four and my five in the key of D. So it's more efficient. Once you get used to it, it will be easier, smoother, faster, and better. And it sounds good. So we just got to embrace that, right? Even if it means we have to kind of retrain our fingers for a second. It is well worth the effort. Another dividend that you will receive from this is that you will, once you get used to this, and it won't take as long as you think, the ring finger is trainable. The other dividend is that you will be able to change your chords more accurately. That is to say, you will make fewer mistakes and you'll be able to change more by feel without looking at your left hand. So I feel like I could go all day long like this and never have to look and never screw up. Wouldn't you like to wouldn't you like to have more of that in your life? I would. All right, so what are some let's just uh, brainstorm for a second about well what songs like would this make sense in? Well, um, you know, da -na 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 -na. recognize that maybe you'll recognize this okay and there's lots of others so this is this is gonna really pay off for you if you train that ring finger and you will have to train him don't don't think that you just tell him one time and then he gets the message and changes his behavior He's not that smart. You have to be smart for him. You got to look over his shoulder, make sure he's doing what he's supposed to do, which is to say, staying put and not moving. Okay. Now in a future Facebook live, we may build on this because there are other chords that sound fabulous in the key of D that can also be fingered without moving the ring. So we're going to build on that, but there are no other chords that are as important as these three that we've talked about here today. The one, the four, the five. That's kind of what we build our whole world. Our ear just never gets tired of those chords. All right, so that's why we're starting with one, four, and five. So anyway, I want you to look in the description and see details for, there's a link for my YouTube channel where there's a whole buttload of free little guitar mini lessons, and plus a bunch of interviews with music biz pros and all sorts of other, um, some of my star student testimonials, those are fun. Um, so anyway, check out my YouTube channel, go to my website, you can message me, send me an email if you're interested in private lessons. That's my actual, that's my real day job. Um, also make sure you're signed up for my free monthly newsletter. You don't wanna miss that. And don't forget about the Zoom class next Wednesday the 23rd. So meanwhile, stay in the groove.